Good morning, everybody, and we are back with the bishop. Time for another segment of Renewing the Mind and the Body for Healthy Living. And while the notifications are going out, let's enjoy this tune called Big God, Big Love by Lloyd Nix. Good morning, Carolyn. Thank you for tuning in. Good morning, Clarissa. I most certainly am. <laughs> Yes, that's it, Carolyn. Big God, big love. You're big enough to make me smile again. So big God, big love. Big God, big love. Ooh, time for our Monday morning motivation. I think it's going to be a good one today. So we're trying to figure it out, figure it out. I've already worked it out, worked it out. Nothing what you're going through, it's really new. It's nothing for you to lose. So I have the tears you cried, I'm set aside. Give love another try. I'm the one who tries to tears and dry around. I make a big love, so sing it out. All right. All right, there we have it. Good morning, big God, big love. Good morning, uh, Lakeisha Phillips, Minister Lakeisha Phillips, Elder Lakeisha Phillips. Thank you so much. Uh, that's right. God has already worked it out. No matter what you're trying to figure it out, he's already worked it out. He's big God, big love. Again, that song is called Big God, Big Love by Mr. Lloyd Nix. Again, uh, he's one of my favorite artists um, out of uh, the St. Louis area. And uh, I just, I love his music ministry. And so I hope that you all do too. You, it's available for download, digital download you can go to where uh, any digital outlet and be able to purchase uh, his music and i guarantee you it will be a tremendous blessing to you so if this is your first time watching one of these broadcasts i want you to know that they are to encourage you to empower you to educate you to motivate you to inspire you to uplift you to move towards your destiny operating in the purpose for which you've been created using the gifts that are within you i want to give a huge shout out to all of you who are a part of the lamont walker ministries family thank you for liking the page and following the page where over here we love to laugh learn and love. And I want to let y'all know that I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you a long time as well. Good morning, Mother Miller. Thank you for tuning in. I also want to thank you all for sewing into the ministry. Those of you who hit that cash app, let me tell you something. That means more than what you can ever imagine. And it's not just something for me, but it is something that you, when you sew into this ministry, it is a blessing to people around the world because these broadcasts go around the world. They're not just here where I am locally. They're not where you are locally, but these broadcasts go around the world. I hear receive feedback and comments from people in other countries like Africa and Russia and um 
in China. And I'm thankful and grateful for the impact of this ministry and this platform. So when you all sow, that helps me to be able to continue to do that, but even greater. And so we've got some wonderful things planned and lined up for this year that we're going to bring to you again, to be a blessing to you, to be of encouragement to you, uh, again, to help you to operate in your purpose and use the gifts that you have within you again. And, and that's what I'm doing over here on this platform. I don't know about anybody else's platform, but over here, that's what we're endeavoring to do is really to be a blessing to you, to be a help to you, uh, to really renew your mind, really renew your mind. Because if you can renew your mind, then your body will follow. And so it's all about healthy living. And we want you to live healthy and we want you to live a long, 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 long time. So speaking of living a long time, we've got some birthday shout outs that we want to give. And we're sending a birthday shout out to uh, Kendall Martinez, right? To uh, Rob and Althea Hightower. I'm not sure which one it is. They are a married couple. To Cameron Triplett. And if today is your birthday, I pray that your day is filled with many blessings, gifts, and love from all around. And that you enjoy as many of the sweet things as you desire. Just don't make yourself sick. All right? It's your day. Go out. Celebrate it. Live it up. Why? Because you deserve it. All right? We're going on today. Uh, today is our Monday morning motivation. It's our Monday morning motivation. And so typically, um, this is just the way that God has given it to me to uh, share on this platform. And so um, I used to come on every day of the week. I used to come on Monday through Friday. And uh, each day has its designated purpose and function. And so Monday mornings is a time for me to try to motivate you and, and encourage you. And then Tuesdays, we will talk live uh, about about current issues and events going on. And then Wednesdays is, of course, our wonderful words of wisdom. So just trying to share words of wisdom to really help you navigate through any decision that you may need to make. Thursdays with our, is, is our Thankful Thursday testimonies. It's a time where we share our testimonies of what God has done for us to be able to be of encouragement to one another. And then on Fridays is our Fresh Fire Friday praise work. I love Fridays, y'all. Friday is my favorite day of the week. And so it's a time for us to come on and just celebrate and give God thanks and give him praise for all that he has done because we have not told him thank you enough. I don't know about nobody else, but I owe God praise. I don't know about you, but I I, I owe him praise. And so, uh, but we are over here on Monday. So <laughs> what's the song? Say so you're somewhere in the future and you look much better than you look right now, but we're coming back over here to Monday. So it's our Monday morning motivation. And the question on the table is, are you maturing or growing? Which one are you doing? Are you maturing or growing? And this is something this week we're going to really kind of deal with you. We're going to deal with you and, and you really, ass you assessing you. And uh, this is something again, like God has, has spoken to my heart and I've lined these up as much as I possibly can just to be able to keep my head straight. Because usually like when God speaks, it'd be so much um, for me to have to try to comprehend and, and try to just stay in order and in line with what he's giving to me to pour into your spirit. And so um, my prayer is that you will always be able to, again, receive of the Lord. But the question today is, are you maturing or growing? And one of the reasons why this comes is because we are in a place in the body of Christ. And this is like these these broadcasts here have been very uh, seemingly to me been very tailored specifically to people in the body of Christ. Sometimes it's a little bit more broader, a little bit more uh, general. But here he's been speaking recently to the body of Christ. And so it's like now he says, I'm talking to those that are mine. And um, when he gets to that point or at that place, and when you look over there in the Gospels, when he says, I'm no longer talking to everybody, I'm talking to those that are mine. It's because there was a shift and transition that was about to occur. And so he was doing his best to prepare those who are followers, those who are believers, who are disciples, who are Christians of, of the gospel. He was doing his best to prepare them and us for that transition. And we in the body of Christ are at a point in a place of transition and we must be prepared. And so what that means, hear me, hear me now and see, this is going not even the way that I plan for it to go. But what that means is we have to remove our focus and attention off of things that we cannot control. Let me say that. Let me say that again. We have to we have to move our focus and attention off of things that we cannot control. We have to now elevate. Let me let me somebody put that in the comment section. We elevate. We now must elevate. We now must elevate 
elevate. We must elevate our attention and we must elevate our focus and our energies and our abilities. Now, uh, as he said in the scripture, to think on the things that are above and not the things that are beneath. And so what that means is whatever's going on in your life, it's not that important, um, especially whatever may be challenging you or causing you difficulty or opposition or trouble. It's not that it's not that important at this particular point in season of our lives in, in the body of Christ because we are in preparation. Hear me, y'all. Hear me for a transitional shift. This is this is something. Listen, when you look back over there in last year and, and the prophetic word, the word of the Lord says that before a change occurs, before a shift occurs, before a transition occurs, that's it, Carolyn, that's it, Clarissa, elevate. Before it occurs, the word of the Lord says, our God is so good and he's so gracious that he gives us, he gives us an indication and he gives us a warning and he gives us some insight to the shift that is about to occur. And so he says, uh, shall, he, shall he do a new thing and shall ye not know it before it spring forth? He listened. So he's letting us know that it is a time. And, and even before the pandemic hit, the God, God gave a prophetic word. He released, he released revelation about what was to come. Though we did not specifically know what it was going to look like, he had spoken to us. He said, listen, their shift is going to occur and things are not going to look the way that they used to look and the way that you're used to them looking. And so it is so important, y'all. That's it, Carolyn, we are in a transitional shift. It is important for us to heed and hear the word of the Lord, heed and hear the word of the Lord so that we are not caught off guard, so that we are not shaken, y'all. What did I What did I say uh, the last few weeks? You know, your, guard your eye gates and your ear gates so that you are, so that you are not moved, so your belief system isn't contaminated. Listen, when you start to see these things occur, because when the pandemic broke out, listen, and, and, and we was finding out it was a worldwide event, catastrophic event and stuff was happening and, and businesses were being shaken and all of that stuff and social injustice, everything was going on like seemingly at the same time. And these things all affected us. Hear me now. They affected us. But watch this. Those who had built that, who had the internal firewall in their belief system were not shaken. They were not moved. And, and that's where we, that's where we are. And the reason being is because there's another shift that's going to occur. And, and he's taking my mind back to uh, being at the theme park and, and being on the roller coaster rides. And one of the things that they tell you is, listen, you can't get off until the ride comes to a complete stop. <laughs> And we are still in the middle of the transition. We are still moving. And so the transitional shift is about to occur. There's going to be another shift. We finna turn down another corner. You know, it was, um, I went to, I went to a theme park in uh, Santa Claus. There's, uh, I don't know if y'all know or ever heard of Santa Claus, Indiana. It's called Santa Claus, Indiana. And there's a, uh, there's a theme park there. And uh, my, my adjutant and I, my former adjutant and I, we went there to that theme park and we got on one of the roller coaster rides and, you know, you know, I I like some roller coasters, you know, and and I like to I like to I like to have fun. I like to laugh, and so we we got on the roller coaster ride and we went up the hill, you know, go up the incline and and we got up to the top. And so I'm bracing for the drop because I'm like, oh my god, I know it's going to be something. And so we dropped and we went down and we swooped around, and then it seemed like we went up and then we started going slow again. And I didn't realize we were going slow, and I didn't even realize this came out of me until after we got off the ride, you know. And he was replaying it and living it and it was so funny but he said he said once we got to the to the to the top of the second hill i shouted out oh no not another drop <laughs> Because I didn't know that another drop was coming with this roller coaster ride, but it was for me it was so much fun. It was so much fun. But I didn't realize there was another drop. And so just like many of us in the body of Christ, we don't realize that there's another shift because we have not, again, taken the time to elevate, as I said, elevate our focus and our attention to hear and see what God is saying and showing us. All right. You got to remember, what did Jesus say in the Gospels? He said, I only do what I see and hear of my father. OK. And so we are in the place of transitional shift. So we're going back to this place talking about. Are you maturing or are you growing? Ask yourself, take a, take a quick observation of yourself and ask, are you maturing or are you growing? Are you maturing or are you growing? And only you can answer that question. Give me just a second here, y'all. Only you can answer that question. Are you maturing or are you growing? And it's an, it, listen, there is a difference between the two. There is a difference between the two. And it is so important that you are not just 
growing, but that you are actually maturing. So let's look at it. Let's look at it here. Let's look at it here. Uh, give me, give me there. That's what I want. Okay. So what is it to grow? Let's, let's look at it. What is it to grow? To grow is to spring up and develop to maturity. Okay. Let me say that again. To grow is to spring up and develop to maturity. Okay. Good morning, Twyla. Thank you for tuning in. To grow is to spring up and develop to maturity. Now, let's look at what it means to mature. And the reason why I bring this up, y'all, because it's so very important. To mature is having a completed natural growth and development. Say, all right. So when you're when you're growing, let's say you're more you're 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 developing to maturity. You're developing to maturity, but maturity is it is a completed natural growth or development. Okay. So in a sense, now this is in the natural state. This is in the natural state. When you're growing, that means you're still in the process. You're still becoming. Things are still being worked out. When you're when you're growing. But when you watch this, when you are maturing or mature or mature, however you want to say it, some people say mature, maturity or mature. When you are maturing, you are in a completed state. OK, and so this is why it is so important. This is in the natural. That's on the carnal sense, because that's from the Merriam Webster dictionary. That's from the natural sense. All right. So when you are mature, your development is complete. Ooh, Lord, I'm I'm trying not to try not to shout and I got to get this out in, in the next few seconds. But when you're growing, hear me now, hear me now. When you're growing, you're still in the process. You're still learning. Some things are still being worked out in you. Some things are still being stretched in you. Some things are still being pushed and pressed out of you. But when you are mature, that development is complete. OK, so what I want to really put out here to you. For as long as many of us have been in the body of Christ, for as long as many of us have been reading and receiving and studying and digesting the word of God, are you growing or are you maturing? It is so very important. And there's nothing wrong with neither one of them. Listen, there's nothing wrong with neither one of them. But you have to know and understand that maturity, listen, says that there's a, a, there's an amount of time that has been put in. There's a time factor, a time element that says that, listen, you are now at a place where you are developed. This is you are now at a place where you are. Your your growing is complete. Hear me what I'm saying. Your growth is complete. And you you look over there. Hey, Croatia, thank you for tuning in. You look at you look at you look at humans. Let's look at humans. Humans go through a natural development and growing process. OK. All right. So when you when you have that, when you have that seed that is planted into the egg and then it becomes a fetus and then it starts to grow, you know, into a zygote and then it becomes, uh, you know, becomes a little baby on the inside of the womb. And then that newborn is 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 entered into the world. And so you have a newborn baby. Then they grow from a newborn baby. Then they grow into a little toddler and then, you know, to a, a little a little kid or adolescent, young adolescent. And, and then you got a teenager then you got a young adult then you got an adult and then you got the senior citizens. So like that, the, that's the natural growth process. But watch what I'm about to say here. When I talk about maturing, mature, Lord have mercy, because you can, you can grow without maturing. I'm gonna let that be a sailor moment. Does anybody on here hear me what I'm saying? <laughs> you can grow and not mature. Hear me, hear me. Because maturation, maturity, becomes a choice and watch this and if you if you hear me if you don't put the right ingredients into that baby as they grow their maturation will be off their maturity will be off. If you don't put the right amount of love into that baby, hear me now. If you don't put the right amount of affection, if you don't put the right amount of wisdom and knowledge and insight into that baby, 
as they continue to grow. Because you know, you you can't tell no you can't tell no newborn or or no no toddler. We we've got a toddler. Our son is seven months old and he's now crawling and and he's all over the place. And and you you can't you can't tell him uh, when he was a newborn. You you couldn't tell him not to put certain things in his mouth because he didn't understand it. See, even though it was wisdom. And then we, from our mature standpoint, was giving him information and wisdom as a newborn. He couldn't do anything with it because he was not of a natural grown state or place to be able to comprehend and understand the wisdom that we were pouring into him. And so now that he is at seven months, he still doesn't quite understand all of the commands that we give to him. But when we say and, and when we give him certain sounds and certain words, he will respond to those. Why? Because he's growing and he's developing. And so we couldn't stop just because he was a newborn and say, OK, we're never going to give him no more wisdom. We're not going to give him no more knowledge. We're not going to give him any more commands. Why? Because he's still growing. Does anybody on here hear me what I'm saying? It's the same for you and me. Now, now that's over there in the natural. That's in the natural. Now, let's come over into the realm of the spirit. For those of us who are born again, baptized believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. How long has it been since you have accepted Christ? How long has it been since you've been baptized? How long has it been? Because see, once you got baptized, what did Jesus say over there in St. John 3, 16, when he was talking to Nicodemus? He was talking to Nicodemus and he said, listen, if you're going to inherit the kingdom of God, you must be born of water and be born of the spirit. Okay. All right. So he said, you must be born again. Right. You must be born again. And so when you were baptized, when you received Christ and you were baptized, that was the beginning of your new birth. Hear me. That was your new birth experience. How long has it been? Because, see, the question on the table is, are you maturing? Are you growing? And see, many people in the body of Christ, I got to calm myself down. <laughs> I got to calm myself down. Many people in the body of Christ are growing, but not maturing. They're growing, but they're not maturing. Hear me now. Hear me now. And we're going to, we're going to land over. We're going to land over in a place where you're going to see you. Whew, Jesus, Lord, have mercy. I love you today. 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 The detriment of growing and not maturing. It is a detriment to you just to grow and not mature. It's a detriment to grow and not mature. Because, see, you got to understand that aging is natural, but maturing is a matter of choice. Whew, can somebody put that in the comment section? Aging is natural, but maturing is a matter of choice. You have to choose to mature. Whew, Lord. Because see, you're going to grow. You're going to grow, period. You're going to grow. You're going to grow. Listen, if nothing else, naturally you're going to grow. As long as God keeps allowing you to wake up on this side of heaven, you're going to naturally grow. You're going to age. But to mature, you have to make a choice to mature. Maturity is a choice. Aging is natural. But maturing is a choice. And what does that mean? Maturing means that you, whoo, Lord, I gotta, I gotta, thank you, Carolyn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta, I gotta calm myself down. I'm getting off of here. Maturing, you have to choose to mature. What does that mean? That's it, Lakeisha. What it means is that you make a choice to use the wisdom and knowledge that is being given to you by God and his mouthpieces, be it an apostle, an evangelist, a prophet, a pastor, a teacher, a missionary, an administrator. Anybody that is anointed by God to speak on his behalf, to give you wisdom and knowledge, to mature. If you're going to mature, you have to make a choice to use that information. Does anybody on here hear me what I'm saying? Because what I see in the body of Christ, I see a lot of grown babies. Full grown babies. Let me say it this way. Full grown adults with a baby 
maturation. <laughs> I amplified it. When I look around in the body of Christ, I see a lot of full grown adults with a baby maturation. What that means is that they have been in the body of Christ for a long time, but they have not matured. And that's a dangerous thing. That's a scary thing. I would not want to be Lord Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I would not want to come over here and be a part of the body of Christ and never mature. Because when you don't mature, then you do not experience the divine manifestations of God unless it's through somebody else. When what did he say? He says, listen, you can do exceeding and abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that works where? In you. But it won't work in you if you don't mature. Am I saying anything to help anybody? Am I saying anything to help anybody right now? I want you to check yourself. I'm checking me. You check you. Are you growing or are you maturing? Because see, people who are only growing, watch this, people who are only growing in the body of Christ, only growing, they cock an attitude at a split second. People who are only growing in the body of Christ can't handle no pressure before they break down. Listen, let me tell you something. People who are only growing in the body of Christ, they cannot stand, withstand a trial. When people who are only growing, they cannot handle temptation. They always give in because they're growing. Y'all, come on up in here. But when you mature, when you mature, you can see a thing afar in the distance and say, I know that ain't nothing but the works of the enemy. And I'm going to do as the word of the Lord commanded me to do, to stand. Having done all I can do, listen, to mature, I make a choice to stand. Come on, come on, y'all. Come on. When you, you gotta, you gotta choose to mature. You choose to use what God is giving to you because see babies can't feed themselves. Y'all, I'm about to go. I'm about to go. I'm getting off of here. Babies cannot feed themselves. They need somebody else to do it for them. But when you are a whole grown adult, with working faculties and your mental capacity is fine and you can feed yourself. Come on up in here. For you to not do so says that you choose to remain a baby. You choose to remain, let me say it this way, immature. <laughs> Come on, y'all. People who done been in the body of Christ for a long time and they still cuss at the drop of a hat. They still drink like a fish. They still smoke like a train. But you talking about you've been in the body of Christ. You talking about you've been a believer for 15 and 20 years. Come on now. You haven't matured. You've only grown. Come on. Because listen, when you watch this, come on, Saul, and help me. Saul's going to help me get out of here. When you encounter the real Jesus, hear me what I'm saying. When you encounter the real Christ. There is a change that matures and manifests in your actions. And where do your actions come from? Your actions are a result of what's in your brain. I got to go. I got to go. People don't just act erratically because... Because, they're, you know, if, when you see people who are just acting erratically and people who, who don't have control of their body, it says that there's something off in their brain. Something about their brain has not matured, has not grown. Something is wrong in the brain. But when you have grown people, when ain't nothing wrong with their mind, ain't nothing wrong with their brain. And you see their behavior, their behavior is linked to the choices that they have made. And those choices are stemmed to the information that's in their mind. Renewing the mind and the body for healthy living is what we're doing over here. I'm trying to help you get to a place of maturation. Come on, where you can lay hands on the sick. Oh, God, I love you today. And they recover. Does anybody on hear me what I'm saying? Where you can speak to demons and they flee. Come on, somebody. Where you can speak and activate the gift of God in other people. That's what it's about. Because it's all, that's all that we have. All we have is his word. And what is his word? His word is information. 
And that information is to mature us. So this is what I'm saying to you. Ooh, thank you, Lord. We are moving towards a transitional shift. And only the mature are going to be able to stand. Only the mature are going to be able to withstand. Only the mature are going to be able to understand. And listen, and this ain't to this ain't to slight or jade people who are still growing. Because the fact of the matter is we're all growing. But what causes you to move from growth to maturity is your your choice, your choice. It's I, I, I was I was a little hood and get on say your choice, yo wow your choice. <laughs> so are you going to use what God is giving to you so that you can mature? Or are you just gonna stay in a place of growing? And and listen, when you stay in a place of growing, listen, all you're doing is just biding your time until death. When you choose only to grow and not use what God has given to you. You choose, you make the choice just to waste time until you die. I'm just waiting to die. That's all it is. And, and I, I'm, I'm working on a piece called waiting to die, waiting for death. Because, listen, because you're not doing anything with what God has given to you. You're not using the gifts he's given to you. You're not using the word. You're not using prayer. You're not using praise. You're not using worship. These are all things that God has given to us, tools that God has given to us to help us to mature. And that's what I want you to do. Whenever you come on this platform, I love you. I got to go. I want you to grow. I want you to grow. I want you to mature. I want you to be who God has created you to be using the gifts that are within you. So that's why I'm signing off. I love you. We're going to pick this up on Wednesday. I, I hope that this has been a blessing to you. We're going to pick this up on Wednesday. We're going to pick this up on Wednesday. If the Lord says the same and he wakes us up, we're going to be back here Wednesday and we're going to continue on with the next part of this because this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Ask yourself, are you growing or are you maturing? Share this broadcast with your family members and your friends because there are so many people right now in the body of Christ who are in a rut and there are so many people who are stagnant. They're stuck because the pandemic shut down their natural flow. Watch this. Their natural flow was just to wake up and go to church on Sunday and not do anything with what they've received. But my God in Zion today, <laughs> now what we are seeing is who has really matured and used what God has given to them. <laughs> That's how I'm able, ooh, Lord, I love you. That's how I'm able to keep coming on here and sharing with y'all is because I made a choice to mature. I made a choice to mature. I don't want to just stay in the growing place. I want to get to the place where my development is complete. Listen, and my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. I love you all today. I'm signing off. <laughs> I'm signing off by saying hello, 2021. I'm going up and so are you. And what's to come for you and for me? If we make the choice to mature, it will be better than what's been. Love on each other and love your neighbor as you love yourself. And if you ain't loving you, then something's wrong. All right, we'll see y'all again real soon. Mad love.